of Portland. Shop NissanofPortland.com. Proud sponsor of the Oregon Humane Society. Hey, Isa, dip your finger inside the virus water. Okay. okay. Did the virus move at all? Did any of the pepper flakes move? No. No, right? Okay. Now, Isa, take out your finger. Do you see any virus on your finger, any pepper on your finger? Yes. Yes. Okay. Now, we don't want the virus on our finger, right, you guys? So, Isa, can I ask you to dip your finger in soap, clean your finger? Okay? This is the importance of how we wash our hands. Now, Isa, does your finger have soap in it? Yes. Okay. Now, can you dip your finger back in the virus? How did it move? Do you see that? Yes. You guys saw that? Yes. You see how important it is to wash our hands? Yeah, a teacher's lesson about the importance of hand washing Dan, is going viral. It's one of many Dan, lessons that Dan, parents around yippee, the country are yippee, trying to teach their kids yippee, who are home now that yippee. schools are closed. For Fox 12, Jana Katsuyama spoke with an education expert who had some tips about homeschooling. The important thing is for them to have a routine mm -hmm. that they're following every day. Frank Worrell is a professor of education and psychology at UC Berkeley. He says parents and students should try to stick to their regular school schedule on weekdays. Have them get up, get, you know, shower, get dressed, have their breakfast, and then schedule their dates. Along with books, arts, and crafts at home, he says there are many resources online that parents can use to create curriculums if their school doesn't mm -hmm. have one. Websites such as Sesame Street or two. PBS Kids can help parents talk about the I've and got that cat. educational screen time. The cat Warren animal says, call. While museums are closed, going to their websites can provide a way to have uh, virtual I think I need trips. We also have my ESL teacher museums back museums in. kinds of things in our virtual Louvre and many of these places that are closed. They are, you can do virtual tours of these places. Worrell says this can also be a time to let your child be a teacher. Having your kid teach you to play a video game <laughs> that they enjoy. Experts say it's also important that social distancing doesn't turn into social isolation. Parents can set up playdates online through video chat or conferencing apps. You can set up a Zoom account and you can actually have playtime with a friend um, via Zoom. And what that one cat call you can actually have on that computer for free. Seven-year-old Nina says she had a virtual play date with another child. We did a FaceTime and then we just played. He has like a mini basketball hoop in his room and me too. So we both tried dunking. Experts also say it is important to make sure students get enough physical activity. It really is important, I think, for children to expend some energy. And my computer oh, ragging said, was so fun. My computer so ragging and computer um, cat was so <laughs> fun to play with. As we mentioned earlier, all schools in Oregon are now closed until at least April 28th. If you need help with child care, you can call 211 for free. Uh, there will be customized referrals there to providers mm -hmm. and for strategies to find child care. You can also text the word children or niños to 898211. All right. I can tell you. You know, as a parent of young young kids, yeah. this is very challenging for for parents. Who uh, my are still computer racking yeah. of school was so fun, to, to help out and my computer right cat ammo was so you know, fun. Was funny. I was thinking about. It. I was talking with with my family. I've got an eighteen year old daughter who's mm -hmm. now at home. We have, we're set to you know go to the prom uh, and, and, and because that of the both a computer. We don't know about you know, proms and graduation that thing, and that thing talks. Uh, yeah. But Say, I'm, I'm press the button. Press the word. Perhaps being, you know, uh, child the letters for for neighbors exactly. who still have to come to work. You know, yeah. so uh, maybe this. Yeah, yeah, it's all about everybody helping out <laughs> each other. Right, and that that means the person right. And that I am miss. Exactly. I'm glad I've got you around. I, I am too. From yeah. a distance, though. Right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> social distancing, man. Right. And they're they're practicing that on the they, beach. It looks what? like, to the, for the most part, right? Maybe those two on the right. I don't know. Down at the bottom. Yeah, Is that six yeah, feet? that's about six feet. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's all right. Look from far away, it looks like maybe they're closer, but uh, okay. Yeah, they, this is a great place to be uh, heading out to the coastline because there's a lot of space out there right now, and uh, yeah, it'd be a good spot to kind of get away from it all, get some fresh air, take your mind off of things for a little bit. Forty-nine and, degrees and, our temperature and, right and, now in Seaside. And, 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 and,
Portland Timbers camera there at Providence and Park. A very quiet Providence Dan, Park, and we'll continue to stay that I've way got, here for the time being. I've got that call. That kind of hit a ragging game, and that kind of hit a cat ammo game. Currently at 52. So uh, we're going to continue to clear out the rest of the day today. <laughs> Expect uh, tonight to be a clearer night. Yippee. With that, Yippee. we're going to see those temperatures drop Yippee. a little bit more here.